I've always found the problem with any computer game simulating snooker that no matter how realistic it actually looks or how much effort is put in trying to place you in the game it never actually feels like you're playing a game of snooker. But now the makers of Quick Snooker tell me they have such a realistic simulation, it actually plays like the real game. And that's on a standard computer without having to resort to any futuristic or VR technologies. And of course that means... Well, I've got to see if they're right. So this is Break From Life does computer games. <laughs> Welcome back and it's your first time watching one of our videos and it's fantastic to have you here. Quick Snooker is by no means a new game and believe it or not I used to play the original version of this game at school almost 20 years ago. At the time the game was in its early stages and had a simple top down view. But what I really liked about it was there was a few things that gave a huge advantage to people who already understood how to play snooker. And understanding how to make the game easier by leaving the correct angle is one of those things. But I still thought it was great how understanding basic spin, cue ball control and generally how the game was played made such a difference in what appeared to be quite a basic computer game. But of course Quick Snook has moved on since then. So when Nick asked me to review the game I thought that was a great idea but it does mean I have to point out the usual disclaimer that I'm not actually being paid to make this video and all the opinions in it are my own, although it is a game I have played in the past and do like. There's no huge team behind Quick Snooker, in fact it was created by one man, Nick from Evesham in the UK, and after downloading it that only made me more impressed with what I had on my computer. And if you're interested in playing it as well then click the first link in the description. Now unfortunately it's currently only available on Windows 10 but there are plans to release it on all platforms, and simply put the more people playing the game the quicker this will happen. Quick Snooker allows you to create your own profile, including profile photo, and this means you'll be able to compete against other players online and get ranked in various league tables. The game begins with almost a tutorial match against an AI opponent. You simply hit the plus sign beside the player you want to play, and then select a difficulty level. These actually make a big difference to the way you play the game, but we'll look at them in more detail in a minute and just begin on Novice. You also have the choice of playing just for fun or for ranking points that affect the overall leagues. The game screen itself gives you two different views of the table and allows you to chat with online opponents. So here's how the game works. You click on the mouse, find the red you want to pop, you move forward and back for the amount of power you want to play the shot with, and then you click the mouse to play the shot. It's that simple. So then when you play a colour, you will automatically nominate any colour you line up, and we can adjust the spin by clicking the white. Now it'll always cue around cushions and obstacles, but you can put back spin or top spin on it. And what we can also do is if you use the scroll button on the mouse, you can raise the cue up a bit so you can actually strike over the top of things. So we're just gonna do that here and then pop the black. This is something I really like about this game because it's probably one of the quickest I've played in terms of lining up a shot. And that's really important because I find these games can be really tedious to play if you can't line up the shots accurately and it takes you forever to get it in the right position. And with these controls I haven't once yet played a shot accidentally before I'm ready. I was a little bit concerned about side spin however. Because on shots like these it didn't always seem to be reacting off the cushions how I'd expect. When I talked to Nick about this though, he explained it had all to do with settings and difficulty levels. To make the game easier for new players to play, both novice and amateur leagues don't have what Quick Snooker refers to as pro physics. So when I increased the difficulty level, everything started playing a lot more like what I was used to. But even so, it was still difficult to tell if the side spin was reacting properly off the cushions. So Nick sent me this image to show exactly what happens when you play towards a cushion with side. So I thought I'd recreate the shot, play off the side cushion here with maximum side to see how it actually relates to the game. And as you can see, it more or less comes off exactly the same place it does in the game. Now I probably could have got a little tiny bit more on that, but really that's more or less spot on. And really for any computer game, that's actually quite impressive. 
Now as I was explaining, difficulty is actually set by what league you're playing in, and even though it doesn't have pro physics, novice league with its long lines is probably the most fun way to play the game. Now Nick won't like me saying this, because as he puts it, this is for players who want to get a 147 within a week, but it's possible to make it easier still. You can even change layouts if you're not happy with the one we've got, and actually using layout 2 here is a lot easier when you're playing on anything like novice mode for example when the lines are very long because you can easily see what you're playing and where you're putting the balls. But does this mean it's bad to play if you do what the game's creators want you to do and increase the difficulty? Well not really no, the shorter lines on both club and pro that get shorter still when you add more spin. It actually makes the game feel very realistic to play if you have an average ability and you don't use rulers. I found myself trying to use this tactically to my advantage when I was playing safety shots and even playing shots to nothing. That just leaves the hardest league difficulty, Masters, which has no guidelines whatsoever and makes the game almost impossible. That is until Nick explained to me about aim assist. If you press F7 then you get a faint white line appearing along the centre of the cue ball's path, which makes things more interesting because... If you've watched enough of my videos then you'll know I usually explain how to line a shot up by imagining where the cue ball needs to go and imagining drawing a straight line straight to it. And this is exactly what the game does really. It just draws the straight line and you just got to guess where that line needs to go. And if you can do that, you'll start to understand how to line up shots in real life. With exactly these settings, my understanding of real world angles came in really handy. And again at times, I really felt like I was playing snooker on an actual snooker table. Now currently online opponents are a bit few and far between, but we do have the ability to change all that. That said, the online play seemed to work really well and without any real lag. But what I think I was most impressed with was all the variations in settings. Not only do you have five different layouts to choose from that allow you a lot of different perspectives and angles of the table, the settings allow you to change almost anything with a game from the speed of your AI opponent, the volume of the referee and the sound effects, and play both 8 or 9 ball pool. And the great thing is you can play any of these games on any table. So you can go from playing 9 ball pool on what looks and plays a lot like an American pool table, Ow. to playing 8 ball pool on a massive hexagonal table. And then you can even switch the game up so you can play snooker on a massive hexagonal table. And of course, choose the exact amount of reds you actually want to play the game with. I actually found it a challenge and quite fun to try and play snooker on this hexagonal table where the pockets aren't quite where you'd expect them to be, with one directly underneath the black spot and no real middle pocket to pot the blue into. But I think I had the most fun playing on this I don't really know what sort of table this is that has ginormous pockets. I liked breaking off with a pyramid of balls as well, but... So if you're like me, you're probably wondering, is it actually possible to stack the balls like this in this pyramid form? Well, unfortunately, the answer is no. Freely potting these easy shots was still really fun, though. Well, nearly. No! But is this the sort of game that players like Patrick from Pex Hungry are likely to want to try? And does it actually make you think you're really playing a game of snooker? I think it does actually feel like you're playing a game of snooker. And what I mean by that is when you're playing the game, you're actually thinking about the shots that are coming next, shots you're worried about, keeping your opponent out, exactly the same things you're thinking about when you're playing a real game of snooker. The other positives, I think the controls are very quick and easy to use. You don't have to spend ages lining up a shot. You can play a shot in a very controlled way quite quickly. It has a wide range of computer opponents that are a challenge to play no matter what difficulty level you're actually using. And it doesn't matter what difficulty level you're using, you're able to play competent safety shots in a way that I haven't seen with any other game. And what I think makes it really exciting is all the different table and game formats there are, meaning there's always a different way to play the game and a different game to play. Now as with any game there are negatives, to start off with both the graphics and the environment are very minimalist. 
as is the online player, though the league system is very good, as yet there's no career path or online tournaments. Though these are things it's possible you could see in Quick Snooker in the near future. And finally, the game is only currently available on the one platform, but that's where we come in because Nick does have plans to make Quick Snooker a multi-platform game, but he needs people playing the game and he needs their feedback. So if you want to help out or just play this game for free, click the link in the description box right now where you can get seven days free access to the entire game and everything in it. So please, if you can, give this game a try because what it desperately needs more than anything else is new players and both myself and Nick would love to hear feedback on what you actually think of it. And remember, don't just watch, play and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.